We're starting here on the Customer Governance homepage within MDG. We want to search for some customers as we'd like to look at a few customer details. I'll choose the Name Search Criteria option and enter Man in this example. As you can see, this returns quite a few business partner hits, logically all containing man somewhere in their name. You can also see there are three change requests for these results. The first new feature is that if I select all of these in one go, I can see straight away which business partners are blocked or marked for deletion. The messages are displayed if a message exists at business partner level. Now I'll take a closer look at business partner 30501, as this one had a message stating it was blocked centrally. Here you can also see that ERP customer 27626, linked to this business partner, is marked for deletion. What this means is that when I'm looking at a business partner, or even creating a new change request, I'm automatically shown messages on subordinate levels, like customer, supplier, or organizational level. We can see another example if we look at MANS SE. There was no message for this business partner itself, but if I call up the business partner, I'm shown a message telling me that the related customer 32616 in sales area 0003 is marked for deletion. Again, we didn't see this message on the previous search screen, as it's not shown on business partner level. If I now call up this customer and try to change sales org 0003, I'm shown the message again, telling me that the customer in this sales org is marked for deletion. Now I'd like to look at all the change requests that have been created up to now for all of these business partners. Like before, I'll select the entire list. This time I'll ignore all the blocked centrally messages and click Change Requests. The list shown on the Display Change Requests screen includes a new feature we've introduced. As you can see, I've set up my own view for business partners and it shows me things like business partner ID, description, change request type, status, dates when they were created or finalized, and by whom. What's new is that I can now see additional fields, which are filled with useful business partner data. For instance, for this business partner that has the role customer, here you can see its related customer IDs and customer account groups. For this business partner with the role vendor, I can see the related details. I can also see that one of these business partners has multiple roles. And of course I can also use the usual table functions, such as filtering so that I only see entries with pumps, helping me to quickly cut down the number of change requests shown to those that interest me. In this list you'll see that because it contains various different roles, it shows attributes for both suppliers and customers. This is the standard display we provide for business partners, but customers are also able to overwrite and modify the view, so that other fields are shown in the list. Importantly, this can be adjusted for each object, meaning you can have one view for material change requests, one for customer change requests, and so on. To show you these different layouts briefly, let's go back to the My Change Requests list, which we call up from the home page. If I call up all change requests which I was involved in on May the 6th, I see that only business partners with the role Customer were involved, so that's why I'm not shown the suppliers columns. In other words, this is a layout specifically for customers, which shows me the customer ID, customer account group, and three additional columns which we don't fill in the standard delivery, but can be filled by our customers using fields from their customer masters. 
We've also provided a layout for material, of course. If I call up my change requests for material and choose created by me, I see a change request that I created for material P400, along with its change request type, status, date created, and I can see it's not yet been finalized. Further to the right, I also see material specific attributes, such as material type, base unit of measure, material group, product hierarchy, the respective office, and that no EAN has been maintained. I can see that plants 1, 2 and 3 are involved, and that one of those plants has no MRP controller, while the others have controller 1 and 26 respectively. And finally, I see that the ABC indicator has not been maintained. These are the 10 additional attributes we deliver for material as standard. But as mentioned previously, customers can choose to show other fields here instead, if they so wish. We've also provided a layout for MDG for financials. If I call up my change request to view the list, I can now see additional fields for the account type, GL account type, as well as a description, group account, account group, functional area, and blocked for posting or marked for deletion flags. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching these latest improvements to SAP Master Data Governance.